Hello, wonderful students, and welcome back to English with Annette. Do you find it confusing to know where to add the apostrophe and s? Or perhaps you only need to add an apostrophe. This can be confusing to say the least. So let's clarify this. In today's video, I will show you several examples when I walk you through this. As you probably know, repetition is key in learning, which is why there's a quiz at the end of this video. Make sure to take the chance to recall what you've just learned and reinforce it. If you like this video, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell so you don't miss out on new videos. If you have an idea for a video that you would like to see on this channel, please leave me a comment below. Oh, and be generous. Share the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Before we get into it, I want to make sure that this is super clear. So, here's a quick reminder on the difference between dogs and dogs. Dogs, without an apostrophe, is simply the plural form of the noun dog. So you have the singular ones, and the plural ones. So one dog, two dogs, one egg, two eggs. One idea, two ideas. You've got this. So this leads me to dogs with an apostrophe, which is a possessive noun to show ownership or a direct connection. For example, the dog's tail, Linda's bag, the man's voice. Good, you get the idea. However, if this is in the least bit unclear, then please go and watch the previous video in connection with this one. It's called Dogs or Dogs? Which one is correct? I will add the link in the description box below for you. So go and watch that and then come back and watch this one. Now, let's continue. As you've seen, dogs with an apostrophe is a possessive noun to show ownership or a direct connection. But that's not all. It's also the singular possessive form. Here are some more examples. The dog's tail, the cat's milk, the hairdresser's shop, Helen's car, the boy's bicycle. The dog's collar is a bit tight. Would you like me to loosen it? The reader's note was given to them before the recording. I appreciate a student's commitment to self-improvement. How about nouns, which already end in S? If you have a noun, which already ends in S, simply add an apostrophe and an S to make it possessive. My boss's name is really hard to pronounce. The class's homework is due on Monday. The actress's role was very difficult. Good. Now you know what the singular possessive form looks like. But what if it's not singular? What if you're talking about more than one dog or one person? Before we move on, I would like to ask you if it feels like you're learning something through this video today. If it does, please take a moment and give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Let's compare singular and plural possessive forms. Now, look at the first one. The boy's bicycle. It's one boy and it's one bicycle. The boy's bicycles, that means that there are several boys. So, it's the plural possessive form. Do you remember the boy with the green party hat in the beginning of the video? Well, here he is. The boy's party hat is green. Please note that it's one boy. So, it's the singular possessive form. One boy. The boy's party hats are green. Note that there are several boys in this one. 
is the plural possessive form. Guess why the boys are so happy? It's because they know about the singular and the possessive forms. Here are some more examples. The dog's kennels have to be clean before we return. They will not sleep in them otherwise. She wants to understand her readers' minds before publishing her work. My grandparents' dog is called Musho because they've watched Mulan. As you can see here in the first sentence, we're talking about several dogs. In the second sentence, her readers, several readers, of course, plural, and my grandparents. There are two of them, so plural. Before the quick quiz, which I mentioned earlier, we need to talk a little bit about time. For singular time periods, simply make the possessive form by adding an apostrophe and an S. This is often used in time expressions to talk about the duration of something. For example, one month's salary, a month's pay, a day's pay, today's newspaper, in a year's time. You need to give one week's notice before you leave. Is that yesterday's paper? I've only had one week's holiday so far this year. He lives one hour's drive from the airport. Please note that these are all examples of the singular time periods. For plural time periods, that already end in S, you just add the apostrophe. For instance, two weeks notice. Generally speaking, you should give at least two weeks notice when quitting a job. By the way, notice, that means a written communication giving information of some sort. Six months salary. Three to six months' salary is the usual offer. Let's make a comparison. One week's notice. This is singular, only one week. Two weeks' notice, plural, more than one. One month's salary, singular. Six months' salary, plural. Please note the position of the apostrophe in these examples. You need to give one week's notice before you leave. You need to give two weeks notice before you leave. Time for a quick quiz. What's missing? I'm giving you a moment to figure this out. Here are the correct answers. The first one, my dog's collar, it's a singular possessive form, as the collar belongs to the dog. My boss's name. Do you remember if you have a noun which already ends in S? You simply add an apostrophe and S. My grandparents' dog. Grandparents, two people, Plural possessive form. The boys' party hats. It's a plural possessive form. There is a clue actually in this sentence. If you look at R green, R, that's the clue, then you know it's plural. Is that yesterday's paper? Is that today's paper? These are both singular time periods. Compare this to the last sentence. Generally speaking, you should give at least two weeks notice when quitting a job. Two weeks. That's a plural time period.
To help you remember this, think about the boy with the green party hat. As well as the boys, of course. Remember, repetition is key in learning. So perhaps watch the video again and share it. Did I upload a useful video for you? If I did, please leave me a comment below and hit that subscribe button. And yes, remember to ring the bell so I can notify you when I've uploaded a new video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.